Hello and welcome to my channel, dear Virgos. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. So today we'll be doing the monthly love spread for the month of January 2022. The card which is kept right in front of you, which says breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellence, mental health and letting go of vices. So this is a sigil drawn on the left hand side, right? Just to break the bad habits if in case if you have any you know to self accept for self acceptance excellence mental health and letting go of vices right so in case if you uh, draw that sigil keep it on your workstation or probably you can draw this sigil on daily basis on your forearm so you can carry it draw it in a, on a piece of paper and just carry it in your wallet right so this is your sigil for the month of january all right let's see let's start with your love reading here dear virgos before that any cross watchers please do like share subscribe my channel do follow me on instagram uh in case if you're looking for a personal reading you can hit me up on my uh instagram just dm me there and i'll be happy to assist you link is in the description below please do uh please do keep in mind that this is a general spread it may may not resonate with each and every one of you if it doesn't resonate do not try and deliberately fit in do watch out your sun moon rising and also remember that this time is fluid right if it is not resonating right now it may do later let's see what is there in your love life dear virgos give me a card for the month of january all right religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path i and at the bottom of the deck i see pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you i believe that you are being cautioned uh well enough dear virgos and uh there are some kind of religious factors that are there in your love life which is affecting uh affecting uh you and your connection right probably uh, you are connected with somebody of a different community or caste or probably there are some kind of traditional factors that are coming in between right right so let's see what does the tarot has to say i will be drawing out three cards first middle last 10 days your feeling or what will be happening in your love life in the month of january first middle and last 10 days of january three cards please this is for virgos what is going to happen in their love life or their feelings in the month of january give me three cards for first middle and last 10 days of january please give me three cards please this is for virgos give me three cards this is for virgos please i got three six of swords ten of pentacles and three of cups all right i somehow feel dear virgos that there is it's the time of celebration in your life in the last 10 days of uh, january i think few of you people are getting married or engaged or committed um right and uh, in the first 10 days let's start with the first 10 days let's start with your recent past first i feel that in recent past uh, you were juggling with two options in your life probably your career and your personal life or either two people in your life or two jobs right in recent past i also see that you were left out alone stranded and you were like weeping and crying and you were like all shattered but you were alone right you were totally alone and i see the devil energy probably you got into some kind of substance abuse probably drinking habits or you know alcohol and stuff like that or probably you got uh, obsessed with somebody or somebody was obsessed with you something like that happened in recent past i see five of cups as well i see that you're dwelling on your past and you are ignoring the cup of love which is being offered uh i mean there's a full cup that is just lying behind you but you're ignoring that and you're looking at the cups which are empty and broken right so you are kind of uh somewhere down the line uh dwelling at the past and you're thinking about what agony and pain that you have gone through in your life when it comes to love and all that stuff right right so in the first 10 days i feel that uh you know you are definitely connected uh you you know the person that you are connected with right now in current situation um uh, 
I somehow feel that all of a sudden this uh, relationship started, uh, you know, going on the right track finally, right? So whatever uh, past energies that you have felt, all of a sudden, you know, now in the week one of January, sorry, in the first 10 days of January, everything started sailing smoothly. I feel that there is travel plan that you're making in the month of January as well in the first 10 days. Either you are going to meet your person or they are coming to meet you. You, you stay, there's, there's, there's distance between you both or you are going on a travel and you're meeting somebody new because in middle 10 days, I see that you are... Uh, again uh you know ten of pentacles you are again looking for a commitment and you feel that this person is worth a commitment this person is somebody you can have a family life with and have children with i feel that you're meeting somebody on this particular trip while travel right and uh you know and i somehow feel that you are looking at this person and evaluating this person on the same grounds wherein you feel that you can get married to this person if there's a very grounded energy and somebody you can settle down with and you'll, you will be happy with this person you can have children with then at the uh, last 10 days of uh, january i see three of cups probably you guys are meeting again and again you this reunion that is happening post travel once you're back now you guys have started uh, to catch up you know this this spark you know probably you guys are uh, meeting connecting again just to see where this goes uh, because i see that you have seen that potential in that person now it's the time the time that you will go, uh, go ahead and take it uh, forward right so uh, i feel that you guys will be catching up again probably you'll be partying together drinking together and you will get to know each other well but there is a, re a reunion that is happening post this travel catch up let's see what is your person's energy in the month of january towards you give me three cards this is for my workers what is their person's energy give me three cards this is for workers what is their person's energy please give me three cards this is for my dear workers what is their person's energy in the month of january first middle and last 10 days january 2022 Give me three cards, please. Their person's energy to you for logo. Their person's feeling towards them. Their person's feeling towards them. Okay. All right. Okay. There are more cards. There are five, six. I'm going to take out only three. Give me three cards. Queen of Pentacles. Wow, Six of Swords again. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more card, please. This is for Virgos. Their person's energy, please. This, you guys are definitely catching up on a travel. You know, in the first 10 days, I see Queen of Pentacles. I feel that uh, this person is also looking for a stability in their life. And they are also looking for uh, a stable connection, a stable love, a stable commitment in their life. And they are looking forward to it. And I feel that you guys are definitely catching up on a, on a trip. On a trip. Because I see six of swords here as well. There are definitely travel plans. Both of you, you have. In the last, uh, you know, your person is also looking for stability. You are also looking for a commitment. They are also looking for a commitment. And they are somebody who is quite a uh, grounded energy, right? And uh, very nurturing and very caring as well. And uh, you're going to realize that. And then in the last 10 days of January, I see three of pentacles. Your person is ready to work on this particular relationship. You know, you both are working on this relationship. You both are uh, exploring where it goes. In the recent past, I see Queen of uh, Wands, Three of Wands again, travel card. 
so your person will definitely is making in recent past they were making travel plans and that is what they were materializing in the month of january i see that they are very passionate they are very uh they are somebody who um likes to take a charge of everything very passionate and uh you know and uh i also see ace of cups so there's a new beginning on an emotional level that is getting started with you right so this is your energy i feel and they have been quite focused on their work very hard working people that i see uh, okay all right so let's see what is the guidance that we have from angels for my dear virgos give me one card as guidance for the month of january 2022 for my dear virgos what is the guidance that we have but then again, do keep in mind that uh, religious factors can be a problem and uh, do pay attention to the red flags as well, dear Virgos. Right? Let's see. Let's see what are the, what is the guidance that you have to give. Wow, abundance a year from now. I see, I feel that, uh, that you know, this, this, connection is going to bring you abundance and from uh, within a year from now right and let's see what are the messages what is it that your person wants to tell you in the month of january messages from your person please messages from your person please what is it that they want to tell you in the month of january messages from your person please messages from your person please in the month of january what is it that your person wants to tell you? Messages from your person in the month of January. Please, this is for Virgos. Messages from your person in the month of January. Please, this is from Virgos. Give me three cards. This is for Virgos. Give me three cards, please. This is for Virgos. Messages from their person for the month of January. Let's make a fresh start. Finding you was a miracle. One more card, please. This is for Virgos. I am scared of a connection because of my past experience. Possibility. Bottom of the deck, I love our intimacy and I am sorry. You make me hopeful about the beauty of love. So I guess, dear Virgos, this is going to uh, come out well, but then just be cautious about the religious factors and just pay attention to the red flags. You know, be cautious while treading. That's all. All right. Thank you so much, dear Virgos. I hope this reading resonated with you. Some of you, few of you, or all of you. Thank you so much. See you in your next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.